Hey everyone! Milena from The Designist is here. Hope you're ready for a quick type guide. As today we'll have a look at open type format features, which, as you know, provide not only basic symbols, but also alternative glyphs, ligatures, and multilingual support. And yet, open type typefaces are getting more and more widely spread. It's not always clear how to use extra symbols. So today we'll check out how to reach the alternates in the context of the key Adobe apps, Photoshop and Illustrator. To do that, first we need the typeface itself. I've chosen Highlander Marker Script by Kavun, which you can get for free on Pixel Buddha. Link is in the description, by the way. I've already downloaded it, so let's install the font. Perfect! Let's open Photoshop and create a new document for the web. I'll use Full HD format. And write Open Type with the Type tool. Of course, a different color. And let's select our typeface Highlander Regular. Some quick edits. Fine, this size will fit me best. The simplest way here is to select the symbol we need an alternative for. This way you open a context menu where all available alternative symbols are displayed. You just need to choose which ones you like most. Like this. But let's suppose we need not only the alternates, but the full overview of them, that you can't find in the context menu. To access them, follow Window – Glyphs. In this menu you can see all the glyphs available for this typeface. Both basic and extras. There are quite many of them and you can have even more. So there is some sense in using the filter to display groups of glyphs. And here you can find the ones you need right now. Or open all and choose in process. To apply them let's select the glyph you'd replace and choose the symbol with a double click. Change the scale here. This way you access the full set of symbols of the typeface. That's it for Photoshop. Let's try now on Illustrator and you'll see for yourself there is no great difference. Create a new document, also for the web in Full HD format. And let's just do the same. Type tool, find Highlander regular typeface and apply it. Center the text with the Align tool. Awesome! Now, if we select the same symbols, we'll see almost the same context menu with the alternates, and it's also easy to use them. Like in Photoshop, actually. Let's find the Glyphs menu. It's like a bit deeper. Window, Type, Glyphs. And you see the same menu here. So you can either use filters or just view all the symbols available for this typeface. Again, if it's more convenient, you can scale it. Ready! The same text with the symbols you won't find on your keyboard. That's how simple it is to work with open type features in Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Even simpler than you might think. If you found the video handy, don't hesitate to like and share it. And subscribe to our channel, we have so much to show you!